Alright guys, we're in the custom playbook option here, breaking down this ebook for you guys. I actually use the custom playbook option because I didn't feel like going through all of the playbooks to find uh, the, for the book that had everything I needed in to run this. I felt like it was a lot easier because you can use custom playbooks in the online feature as well as uh, in Connected Careers mode. So, or excuse me, Dynasty mode. So here, I, I, I didn't have a really creative name. But uh, we're just going to be going through this. Now, the form, uh, the playbook I think most resembles this is the USC playbook. It has almost all the formations that I talk about in this guide. So make sure to take a look at that if you don't want to use a custom playbook. Now, the plays I have in here, we're just going to go to view playbook. Your base formation here is the shotgun normal. You're going to be coming out in the play drag under. And the beauty is I have all of these other plays in my quick audibles. So the inside zone is the run audible, the FL slant is the audible, uh, quick pass audible, uh, the FL screen is my play action audible, and the HB angle is my deep pass audible. So I have every play I need at my disposal, and that's why you only want to use these five plays. Now, in moving into my three-headed rushing attack formation, the normal wing offset, I have the best run of the game by far, uh, the HB die. This has actually been the best run for the last two seasons. Uh, I have the slants. I have slot cross, and slot cross doesn't always come up in my quicks. Uh, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's just going to be the luck of the draw. I don't really base my offense around that play, so I didn't worry about it too much. But I also have the read option, which is my actual audible. And then a PAY receiver screen, HP dive, and slants will show up in your quicks. So that's my three headed rushing attack. Uh, the shotgun wide trips, this is my main, mainly my zone B information. Uh, I think my audible from this is actually the level switch. And that means that my quick audibles have the Z spot, play action double hook and uh, FL screen should be in there and of course the inside zone run. You guys are starting to see how I'm going to be using this book. Okay, So we have the shotgun wide trips. Let's go to the shotgun but strong. This is my main man beating formation. Uh, you see we have halfback slip screen read option. Uh, those are in my quick audible stick. Did not actually come up but I'll show you guys how to create stick in the video breakdown for the bunch halfback strong. Uh, the weak flood and the Z spot. Z spot is actually my audible and weak flood will be my deep pass audible. So you see how we're uh, minimizing the plays we have in our playbooks so that we can make our best plays come up in our quick audibles. Okay? Uh, moving on to my single back stuff. I have the single back doubles or single back Y, so y slot. Uh, excuse me, single back slot or ace slot. And my main audible from this formation is the play action slot crosses. And then the rest of these plays will come up in my quick audibles. And you see it's very similar to the shotgun doubles but I'm going to be attacking a different portion of the field. Okay. Now, Y trips. This is my last formation I have in my offense. This is mainly my blitz beating formation because I have that wide receiver screenplay and this Z spot. My main audible from this is going to be the double China. It's one of the better plays in the game, uh, and so that's what I've got going. I think it's the double China. It may be the Z spot. You'll have to check out the audible section. But uh, this is basically how uh, I set my playbook up offensively. And uh, that's what we're doing from that. Let's take a look at the audibles here real quick. I think I have them set. So I have Z spot from the shotgun bunch, halfback strong. Or excuse me, not the shotgun, but uh, shotgun Y trips. But I think that needs to be changed to the uh, to the level switch. That's right, the level switch because Z spot came up in my quicks. So I changed that. And it's, it's, it's all in the guide. It's finalized in the guide. The bunch halfback strong. Uh, that's my audible from that. Play action slot crosses. And then single back wide trips, I, may, I meant to change this. This needs to be the double china. So there we go. So now we have everything we need at our disposal in our playbook. And uh, we're going to get you guys into the into the, the offense real quick. But real quickly, I want to talk about the, for, uh, the philosophy of my offensive scheme. And uh, in order to do that, uh, we're going to take a look at my, uh, basically here just showing you these plays. But basically my philosophy on offense is offense is simple. I like to make offense as simple as I can make it. I don't like to complicate things and by running glitchy plays or money plays or whatever. So I basically just run you know, pretty good football and, and use my reads. Uh, like I said, there's certainly some stuff you can use from these formations that are going to help your game offensively. You need to make sure that you're using your check downs. The whole offense is predicated on numbers. So basically, uh, like I said, we come out in the, the gun doubles here. So let me show you by viewing the playbook. We come out in the shotgun normal, and you see how that slot receiver is flexed out to the left. So it's not an ace. It's not a basic uh, basic formation. It's a, it's now a, essentially a spread. 
it's not like an actual spread, but it's like a flexed formation to the left side here. So what's going to happen is going to make them play nickel personnel. If they don't play nickel personnel, then the linebackers are going to be forced to cover the slot. This creates matchup problems. The beauty of this, though, is the running game we have from this with the uh, inside zone here, that is going to create opportunities for us to run the ball effectively against, uh, you know, when we get one-on-one -on -one blocking. So basically, if they don't put their safeties in the box or they don't come out in, you know, a, a, a defense that does that does, that has, uh, you know, a seven-man box, we're going to easily check down into our running game. Uh, a six-man box is going to get destroyed, and you guys are going to learn all this in the in the in the ebook. This is all in there. I'm just talking really about the philosophy of the scheme right now. Like I said. The six-man box is going to get destroyed by the running that we can do. Another thing I wanted to make uh, happen on this is easy transitions. Uh, um, you know, I don't want to be audibly from shotgun spread to shotgun tight to shotgun tight flex to shotgun to, to whatever. I want to be going from shotgun normal, and then I what, what I do is I motion the slot receiver to the right. I shot audible into wide trips, and then if I don't like the look there, then I can go into bunch half back strong. It's very simple transitions for my players. Very quick audibly system. And then if I if I want to run the ball uh, from the normal to the normal wing offset, you see very minimal movement. Uh, if you know very little movement, the tight end basically basically all the movement that occurs is the tight end comes back into the backfield and the wide receiver goes on the line. That's all that really happens. And the beauty part is we go down the single back and it's the same exact concepts, just from a single back formation with a, a couple different plays. So that's pretty much the philosophy of the offense. Uh, you know, it's very simple, it's very basic, but it's very effective. And you guys are going to want to check out this ebook. I've got a ton of play setups. I really don't use all of the plays I'm going to be breaking down. I normally stay in the doubles, in the doubles flex wing, but all of these other formations are very complementary to it. And you guys are going to want to know, have this knowledge at your disposal. Uh, so make sure that you check out the rest of the ebook. Make sure that you read it. Uh, you know, sometimes and sometimes I say some stuff in the ebook or the written section that I didn't cover in the video section, and sometimes I say something in the video section that I didn't cover in the in the written section. So make sure that you are reading and watching all of this content. You guys are not going to want to miss it. It's really going to improve your offensive game. So, anyways, thanks for checking out this ebook, guys. I really appreciate it. Shout out to MaddenTips.com for letting me post it, and uh, and and all the other websites that let me post it on their site as well. Uh, once again, guys, uh, I had a blast making this ebook. Hopefully, it will help you guys improve your game in NCAA 14. So, let's get in to this offensive ebook.